Hey, next up, BC. Um, I've chosen to submit a my answers via audio and video. Um, I understand that no one wants to watch 15 minutes of me talking, so let me jump to it. Um, I'm applying to next up because I just recently resigned uh, my position at a consultancy that specializes in sports, uh, social corporate responsibility. I was working there for five years, hoping to change uh, companies uh, from within, but uh, after five years, it really just didn't fully align with my goals and aspirations. So I'm, I was hoping that next up will give me an opportunity to really reconnect with uh, the social and environmental justice values that I hold really dear. Um, going back a little, I, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of background of how I came to um, the social and environmental justice leanings that I have. Um, like most people, I came to be interested in in, in, in these uh, issues uh, in undergrad, uh, attending protests, leading, uh, reading Marxist Lit, volunteering for Amnesty, etc., etc. Um, after I graduated, I uh, traveled to Ecuador where I volunteered in an ecological reserve and, and then that got me really interested in community and rural planning. So I enrolled in a grad program in, in Halifax. Um, while there, I had uh, an opportunity to travel to India to investigate community consultation in rural, uh, rural southern India, um, and compare the Canadian experience in First Nations communities to the uh, to the Indian communities that uh, that were assigned. Um, I I then finished grad school and and got a CETA internship to go to Palau and Micronesia to work for a conservation NGO uh, protecting an ancient uh, fishing ground uh, that was uh, dear uh, to the Tobian people of Palau. Uh, upon returning, I then got a position at the consultancy that I just referenced. As an immigrant who spent my early years in Hong Kong, I think I would really add to the diversity of Next Up by bringing up some issues concerning barriers to entry to the various uh, mov movements that I want people to be a part of. And I also want to really investigate the opportunities for my community to be engaged in uh, more in the social environmental justice movement. Two areas of leadership I want to develop with Next Up would be how to lead movements, big or small, that have people commit, uh, more committing to fighting uh, a cause that would sustain uh, in a longer term. I, uh, this is one of the criticisms I have with uh, some of the movements that I've been a part of in the past. On a more human level, I want to develop skills in leadership in a less vocal manner. I have a tendency to say and act a lot, um, but I've always admired the silent leader, so I kind of want to develop skills in that. A time I exercise leadership is from my previous position. Um, I worked with 20 consultants who were all older and had more experience than me and also had a really competitive edge. We worked in an environment uh, that was all online and doing 99% of our interaction by email. After a bit of time to adjust and learn, I had taken a pretty big leadership role working side by side with the owner of the company. I feel that I exercised leadership uh, and got to this role just by treating people with respect and care to, on a day-to-day -day basis. The fact I've done this mostly through email, I think, is a testament that leadership can come in any form.